and fall off the rollers. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Nate, do you want to, or I'll let you decide when to start, right? The workout? Sure, are we live now? Uh, we'll let Ray start. Stop. Stop. Okay. And off we go. Wanna, we, are live. Start, right? we are live. We are live. Cool. Sure, are we live now? So in theory, we're live at this point. Folks so can uh, let us know in the chat if you can hear us or not, or if you can see us. Um, so we'll see if if we can coordinate live on top of live is always tricky. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to see uh, <laughs> what's going on there, but uh, we'll give it a whirl here. So for those that are joining that don't know the other two guys in the room there, um, we've got Nate of Train Road and uh, Jonathan of Train Road as well there. And both of them are the train road and we're going to kind of walk through some of the features here of this. Um, this definitely isn't like a product uh, what do you call it, marketing showcase. We're just supposed to get supper and chat with people. And this is kind of a, a fun way to do it. Great, so I'm going to actually start the workout. What we're going to do is a group sync workout. So we all have the same workout, but the level is um, adjusted to our own intensity. So you can see we're all working at different intensities. The one person controls it, you just run crazy. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. Thanks, uh, Nate. Much better. <laughs> so everyone stays asleep the whole time, just like if you were in a, uh, a group workout or spin class, something like that. If you were to leave and come back, you just jump in right into the middle of the workout. It's going to be really hard for me to talk and work out at the same time. <laughs> I'm already losing my breath. We should probably start from the beginning and explain this thing a bit, right, Nate? Yeah. So. I've wanted to do group workouts since 2011. And <laughs> so much stuff that we built in Train Road has been to put us in this spot so that we could do this. We had a, like an alpha of this being built. We planned to launch it in the fall, but because of COVID-19, we really, the team worked so hard, like extra nights, weekends. If you see a Train Road team member, buy them their favorite beverage <laughs> because they really came together and we got like the core experience of this down really, really well. And the point of this is to add motivation and compliance to your workouts. And that makes you faster. And we've been using it a lot and I can, this sounds like something coming from me, but I swear you go so much deeper when you can see and hear other people. It's really cool. Ray, you experienced it. What did you think? Yeah, so far so good. I'm impressed. I, I think I'm impressed in two reasons. One, because it's something that, uh, unlike my live stream right now, um, actually works. So, uh, and you know, from like a functionality technical standpoint, uh, when I went and joined, we actually did it across three continents. Which, you know, anytime you do like live conferencing, video conferencing across three continents, you're asking for trouble. Um, and we did that, uh, no issues at all there. So that was pretty cool. And I think it's just something that, like, there's pieces of this that are have been around for a long time, right? So the idea of doing a group workout on Zoom or Skype or whatever isn't new. It's something that people have been doing for, for years. Um, same with doing synchronized workouts, that's not new, but uh, what's new is putting it all together. Uh, and so you actually have true live audio and video in the same app that you're doing the structural workout from in a many-to-many -many relationship and not just a one-to-many like a Peloton or um, without video like on Zip or whatnot. So it's pretty cool. We should explain the workout we're doing too here because we're all synced up throughout this whole process. So all three of us will be going through this. So if you're joining us on YouTube, you should heckle us. <laughs> I think that would be appropriate. Um, <laughs> so we're doing just uh, basically, I think, are they two minute efforts, Nate? I know they're only one minute efforts. I chose a workout where we could go hard but not too hard. <laughs> really, you just get sweating the whole time. And still talk in between the efforts, hopefully. Yeah. <clears throat> so, two minutes, I think, at 125%, or one minute at 125% FTP. Yeah. For all of us here. For things for people to know, at launch, it's going to support five athletes at a time. We're going to work on improving that. We have to, you know what to do. 
it just takes some time to do it. And then desktop, Mac and PC only. And the RAM tests and custom workouts aren't supported at first, but like the team did this so quickly, we have a whole series of follow on features that we're gonna work on. So the cool part about this too is like, I think that for me, I've noticed it on particularly tough workouts, right Nate? It's been super helpful to have another person there, even if it's just like as an accountability partner, not even necessarily, you know, cheerleading you, but that's been, uh, it's been a huge help <clears throat> for us for sure. Yeah. And I think that the main thing is, it's like you win when everybody does better rather than winning because everybody else loses. It's yeah, like supportive, you know? There's not a winner and loser in this structure. Yeah. Everyone wins every time if you finish the workout. Right. I think you will. <laughs> Ray, do you have any questions? No, I think I finally got my live stream working, so I'm, I'm good now. Uh, oh, good. Uh, as usual, like all, all live streams, it's not proper until it's a, a fumble at the beginning. Like that, so. <laughs> so actually, so, so one of the things that we talked about a little bit was this, this scenario uh, right now is supporting up to five people, right? So there's, uh, let's see, who's the leader? Nate, you're the leader, um, plus, in theory, up to four others. Uh, where do you guys see going beyond that? So if you want to do a group of 20 people or 100 people, how about that scale? Yeah, so I think that for voice and video, we'll see probably 10 or 12 will be the max before it gets too much. Because if you're in a Zoom meeting, right, it's hard when there's like more than 20 people. But there is options to have some people in chat, this sort of stuff. We need to make sure we do it right. But without promising anything, I could see us going there. Or we could have massive workouts. Cool. And do you see that being also one to many sort of scenarios as well, as opposed to just many to many? Sure. Or like uh, four to many. Like I want to do, I want to do some workouts with uh, some pro cyclists, right? Let's do not too many. I want to be pretty cool. I personally want to do them with Legion of Los Angeles with the Williams brothers and that crew. I think that'd be that a lot of fun, awesome. right? I want to do a sprint workout with them. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Tons of fun. Teach me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first change. Um, two for like motivation. Uh, if you see my Strava, I did 700 TSS in a week, which is way <laughs> more than normal. I did like four hour <laughs> training road days. It really helps having somebody else there. It really does. Huge difference. If you have any questions, ask on the live stream. Yep, uh, they'll be funneling through to me, and I'll be squeezing them in between breaths. The answers. <laughs> <laughs> or the questions. And then it's up to Nate to get the answers in between breaths. Or Ray. Yep, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got questions as well that uh, the folks can funnel in here now that things are actually seemingly working here. It's probably worth noting as well that on the live stream, the quality probably isn't as good. Uh, so like, from my perspective right now, the quality here is spot on, really nice. Um, everything's very clean, it looks really good. But I know people looking at the live stream of our, you know, concurrent live streaming to each other may not be as sharp. So right. that's one minor thing to keep in mind. Uh, I've got a video that I will just publish now. I think I can, I'll do it like live. <laughs> so everyone following will get dinged at the same time. See, is, it, is the quality up yet? Oh, quality is rendered, okay. So here's how this, I'll switch it over and uh, that will show you the full high quality what it looks like in person, cool. recorded on the same system so it looks nice and crispy. How this works is uh, you, for a workout that you wanna do, you create a room, it gives you a code, and you share that code with your friends. And that room is open for all of time for that workout. So. You could say, this is hard. <laughs> I could work out at, uh, you know, we're gonna do this workout 5 a.m. tomorrow, join. Or, if we have a train the road, the 7 a.m. Pettit, that's always open, but you just join that room. Whoever wants to join it can do it. Get a little extra aerobic effort in before work. It's also worth saying with that too, that it doesn't mean that Pettit at 7 a.m. is the same code for everybody. You know, yeah. there can be unlimited instances of Pettit at 7 a.m. All of them, you know, for different friends 
or different groups of people, you can have your own code. So you'll just be with your friends. Someone asked, they said, I don't have any friends. <laughs> um, there's a thread, there will be a thread if it's not there already on the forum, to be able to invite people to work out with you. Then we'll work on better integrated features to find workouts. But like I said, we went just the core on this in order to launch quickly. So we should explain, this is my view, answering some YouTube questions. If you're watching our channel on Trainer Road's YouTube channel, you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. So I'm down to the lower left. The stats above the graph are mine. The graph is mine. But then you can see everybody's data on their images. Um, and then what happens if someone pauses? Do you want to explain that one, Nate? Yeah, so only the host can pause or play. But when we disable pedal, uh, pedal to play, so I'll give you an example. I'll bite the bullet on this. <laughs> Poor Nate. <laughs> right now, but the workout's still happening. I could actually leave the workout and come back, and it would jump me back in the same spot that they're at. So that we're always in sync. So you can see, I'm not pedaling, workout's still going. As the host, I could pause, if everyone agrees, but I'm not gonna pause. Maybe I just adjusted my cleat or my shoe, and then I'm back at it. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asked, how do you keep down the fan noise? That's a good question. So the key to this is you have the mic to your laptop and the speakers in your headphones. If you do that, the, the wind noise is almost imperceivable. If you have the mic set to your headphones, you'll hear a hum. We're working on some code to eliminate that, but that's not ready yet. Yeah, in fact, you can hear it if you wanted to, like the demonstration of that. On my case, I'm, the mic is on my headphones because I was too lazy to switch it. Um, mm -hmm. So if I were to sit back a little bit, you hear just a little bit of that coming off the fan right there, but it's not too bad. Like, it's not much. I go back in, water bottle blocks it, and so good to go again. Yeah, yeah your fan's on. Uh, another one, yep. somebody's asking, what if people are at different spots in a plan or on different plans and have different workouts to do? Good question. So, two things to do. One is, do the same energy system, even if it's a different workout. Two, we're working on a feature where we can all do our own workouts in the same uh, same room. So with that, John could be doing Pettit, I could be doing this, and Ray could be doing Spanish Needle. Yeah. And we're working on that right now. Um, another one. How will the rides upload to Strava, individual or as a group? They, that's a good question. So they upload as individual, but we could say riding with, but we have to give you fake GPS data and fake speed. <laughs> so if you would, you're okay with that, let us know in the stream, we're on the forum, and we'll do it. Because fake speed means we, fake distance. Yep, but it's already fake anyways. Right. We're thinking just having everyone at 20 miles per hour in a workout. Because all the speed has to be the same for everyone in the workout. Yeah. In order for that to work. Okay, boys. Here we go. For a second. Hardest thing. <laughs> the warm up. The warm up. <laughs> so for folks that aren't familiar with Trainer Road, you're probably noticing that we all have three different wattage uh, power targets and actual power there. So the two numbers up there, the left-hand side one is the actual power, and the right-hand side number under power is the target. And these are all based off of our different FTPs. So Nate, being the strongest, has... Uh, <laughs> but the fattest. <laughs> and a little bit of that, but uh, definitely not. Uh, but the, he's got a higher one. <laughs> uh, and then you got Jonathan in the middle, and then me way down, a bit lower than that. But as Jonathan noticed, or uh, Nate noted, oh cow, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, the workout coming up. Uh, <laughs> it is based on weight, so that's an area where after we get to this set here, if you guys can talk a little bit to how this works out when you've got, you know, something with a dramatically different weight and whether or not they really want their what is shown and kind of the implications of that. Yeah. Do you want to start in about 29 seconds? <laughs> Give me two minutes. 
<laughs> so who's gonna be the first to turn their fan on? Vote down below <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> Someone asked uh, on my side, they use iPhone headphones, what headphones you use. In my case, I got a pair of Bose headphones, but it was literally just a case of the closest headphones that I found um, nearby. You can use a pair of iPhone headphones, whatever plugs into your computer. So if you've got an old school 3.5 millimeter adapter, that'll work just fine. If you've got newer lightning style headphones, and that Bluetooth won't plug too. into the computer so well. Bluetooth too, yep. Yeah. These power beats, AirPods, whatever. I prefer not using cans. So I usually use Jaybirds, but they seem to like fall out of my ears all the time. <laughs> so I end up going with these. But AirPod Pros. So I'm going to try next. Yeah, I was using some power beats last week with you guys. Uh, all that stuff works, no problem. How are you guys talking? <laughs> this is where Nate points out that our FTPs are too low. He's the only one accurately set. <laughs> this is plenty hard. What a shame. Ooh. I'm turning the fan on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we won, Ray. Okay, so you should hear my fan for a second and it should mellow out. It's perfect. Good? Yeah. If it's All loud, good. my fan? Nope. All right. Woo. So, to Ray's point about, you know, riders with drastically different weights. Oh, yeah. Can I take this one? Together. Yeah, sure, please. Yeah, it's so understandable too. Like, on this ride, I'm really big. And John's a national level athlete. So our FTPs are naturally high. And Ray's actually above the normal bell curve for cyclists too. Yeah, Ray's um, fast. People don't talk about this enough, but I know. he's fast. <laughs> he was carrying on a conversation up like a 15% grade at one point with me. It's a hard flex. Or I just set my fat though. <laughs> but I think one feature that we're thinking about is to make it all based on percentage. So instead of saying, my target is 137, it might say 60% FTP. And for the whole room, it's 60%. And the cool thing is, if you have a national level athlete like Jonathan, someone who's brand new, it's gonna hurt the same, as long as they do the ramp test. Yep. They're still experiencing the same suffering and like fitness gains. Perfect segue, Nate. Um, can you do custom workouts or the ramp test? As of now, no custom workouts or ramp tests, but we are working on that and uh, there's some, we have a team working on it. So we understand ram test is gonna be super important. And so it's a uh, custom workouts. But again, we wanted to release this as quickly as possible. So we got a real core set of features that we think work really well. And then we're gonna build on top of that. Here's one that I think I can answer. So I'll give you some, give you a break, Nate. Uh, a question, does ERG versus resistance mode mess up the group experience? Absolutely not. So I may even put it into that just to show. I can switch my modes really easily and then I can shift. And then I just match my targets myself. It doesn't mess anything up though. Everyone stays in sync on erg mode and then it's just up to you to stay in sync if you're not. So no issue there. Somebody on my side asked, uh, Chris asked, I said, it seems to get a bit gimmicky to me. How will this help me get me faster? Uh, and I think, yeah. you know, from like a non-marketing answer here is that it's gonna depend on what kind of person you are, to be honest. Like if you're, if you're the kind of person that doesn't like people, um, at least <laughs> while you work out, then this probably won't be your your jam. Uh, and it's that's totally that's totally cool. Like sometimes I just don't want to see other people. I just want to suffer alone and, and be good. But if you're the type of person that uh, maybe likes just you know either occasional or all the time, you know riding or riding a group that kind of stuff, then this is ideal for those people to get through those workouts that have a high degree of suck with them uh, that, you know, just gets it through. Or in some cases just to simply have the group pressure, the peer pressure motivation of a, a group workout is on the calendar at five o'clock, whatever time it is, 
and you just got to go and be there because we definitely made fun of. <laughs> yeah. Nate, you should tell everybody like my initial stance and how it's changed now. Yeah, so me and John, we both think we're intrinsically motivated. And if you look at our workouts, like we get our numbers, but it turns out we're not, <laughs> or at least not fully, because uh, we go away, I don't know. I got I got all time power PRs in a sprint workout with Josh Croxton yeah. uh, a few days ago inside. Yeah, uh, and it was only because his numbers were higher than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's honestly so. Like, I can understand for sure that that hesitation because I had it too. Um, but I've like the quality of my workouts and the amount of work I can do goes up. Um, it's really helpful. So, granted, you also won't be training out with. I mean, you can, and eventually, we'd love to have an opportunity for you to connect with other people, like outside of your friend circles and everything else, like Nate said. But for now, it would just be with those that you choose. Um, and there are definitely people that I like want to ride with, and those that in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't want to ride with them. So you can pick and choose. <laughs> we have less than 30 okay, seconds. So everyone knows John's on rollers while he's talking and like looking around? <laughs> yeah, that is a question actually. And yes, I am. I'm on the elite, elite Neuros. I'm using power match with my cork. <coughs> Here we go. Five. Too easy. Oh, why don't you tell us some more about it then, Nate? <laughs> Why don't you talk about how the uh, connectivity works behind the scenes, the network side of it? <laughs> Someone asked if we could uh, up the intensity. You can. Oh, flex. Oh Look at that. <laughs> can you demonstrate that? <laughs> yeah, I did. He just did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch up with you in five intervals on that decision, Nate. <laughs> Five. Nice job, guys. Another question. Can you share music? No. But, do you have an idea for share playlists? Uh, In the future. Um, yeah. Not sure if it's going to be possible, but we're thinking of it. One thing you can do with music for now, so not right now, because we're live streaming, but usually I'll have Spotify playing in the background at like one third volume, one half. And that way I can still hear everybody, but still have my music. So that's one solution I do you can it. do. I, uh, I have Spotify, I play it during the intervals and stop it during the rest periods. Because no one talks during the intervals. Yeah. <laughs> Besides these guys. <laughs> Uh, feature Speaking idea. Which, some folks. Yeah, go ahead, Ray. Uh, some folks let me know I need to talk louder, so I just upped my volume there. So hopefully that helps for people there. Cool. And also, if you guys are on my stream and loving the quality of the buffering, uh, then <laughs> you can always skip over to Trainer Road guys' stream. You can just search for them in YouTube for Trainer Road, and uh, their stream is apparently a little better than mine right now. So a question. It's pretty good. There's. Go ahead. Yeah, feature idea. I think this isn't jest. I hope something that makes it harder, temporarily harder for somebody else. So the host could decide. <laughs> Every like 20 workouts you do in train a road, you get a 30 watt, 30 second bump on someone. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not real. <laughs> that wouldn't make me faster. It's true, as long as it's measured, right? So along those lines too, just to reiterate something you said, Nate. Um, you know, if, if this is something we're like, you're doing short, hard VO2 efforts to build towards something in particular, but your friends are just doing recovery rides, join them on your easier days. And also vice versa, right? Like, find the days where it, where it jives and it matches. And also if it's not, if you don't have, like right now, a ton of us have canceled events, right? And if you are in that scenario, you're probably afforded a bit more wiggle room for now. Um, 
so you can jump into that similar VO2 workout as your friend, um, as long as it's you know not crazy over the top or something, and expect similar results. I say similar, not the same, but yeah. So that's another question there. So Nate, are you gonna stay elevated the whole time with your intensity? Oh no, I already turned it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm did still going quietly up. as you uh, drop down to recovery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> silently did it. Here, I'm up now. Um, and for all of you watching right now. I think we're all at 100%, Nate's a bit above. Let us know what intensity you want us to do the last one at. <clears throat> I assume we're talking the cool down, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other thing that happens is when we get to the end, extend warm up works, and we could all extend it differently. So if Ray wanted to do an extra 30 minutes, if I only want to do 10, we could do that. Okay. And after it's over, I would still stay in the room, but my workout would be over and I could discuss stuff with Ray, which cheer him on. For sure. So after this interval, um, one of the things, which by, by all means, Ray, if you have something to discuss after you first, but I want to discuss kind of like the intent of this workout a bit, just to give people some context in that regard. I mean, other than obviously allowing us all to ride together, but the actual structure. <laughs> all right, here we go. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Second one, too much. <laughs> that was like six seconds into it. <laughs> you just tell. For the folks that do enjoy watching uh, Nate suffer a bit. The video that I uploaded, that's a nice clean one with crispy 4K quality and all that kind of stuff, has some choice moments. <laughs> Beautiful vintages of Nate suffering. Oh good. From the last week or so. We uh, all like that. Yeah, put I didn't in there, just gotta look around for them. <laughs> I couldn't let those go to waste. <laughs> Nice, Joe. Woo! Two down. Okay, another so question. I'm ask you, John. Yeah. You're on rollers, but in erg mode. Someone asked that. Yes, I am. Yep. What um, is that? So I'm on rollers, but they have an electronic resistance control unit. So smart control. And it allows something called erg mode. I think this is answering the question. And it basically just speaks with trainer road and to make sure I'm riding at my power target so it adjusts the resistance for me. What roller do those? Elite Nero, N-E-R-O, or Nero, I don't know, uh, but it's these, uh, they have the resistance control unit and you can get over a thousand watts on these things at 45% resistance if you put it in resistance mode, so plenty of resistance. They don't work for mountain bikes though, unless you ride a size small, some mediums, and down. So the wheelbase isn't long enough. So, okay, Ray's a question. On our feet, so uh -huh. He goes, hmm? Ray's not working. Because the guy in the upper right, Ray, it's not working at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's calling you out, Ray. It's just fitter. Um, yep. Go ahead. <laughs> Another question, what happens if the host disconnects? So Nate, in this case, if you left. Yeah. So if I were to leave, it would automatically transfer a host to somebody else, and then they have control. Yeah. Easy as that. Does it go back to you if you join? No. Join? No, it just goes to whoever's there. And probably worthwhile noting that me as a non-host and uh, Jonathan as a non-host right now, can't control the workout. So you're like, we can't pause it or anything like that. It's just the host. We can just adjust our own intensities individually, but that's it. Yep. If we stop pedaling, the workout continues unless we were to ask the host to pause for us, right? So. Similarly, if you joined late for any number of reasons, 
you just join into whatever point you joined into. So you don't start at the beginning, you just simply join it five minutes, 10 minutes in, 20 minutes. Yeah. You look at my Strava, I joined some workouts late and people were like, oh, the feature, it's no warm up. Like, <laughs> yeah. people are teasing. People are but asking, cool. people are asking t- tons of crazy questions like that. That's fun. Thanks by the way, for all that stuff. <laughs> One thing to notice too, that like, let's say John had this workout today, but I had Pettit. Because I know in the future we want to be able to let you do pet it with John, but for now, if you just switch to um, you just switch to uh, like resistance or slow mode, and ride at whatever your aerobic power is, mm-hmm. then you can pretty much do it. You've seen me do that in workouts on Strava, yeah. where it's really hard. I'm just riding around because it makes it go by faster. Another solution, yeah. Oh, another question. This one's from Instagram. Somebody asking, is Coach Chad going to just do this from now on forever? <laughs> I think so. I want to jump in randomly to people's screens. That might be a privacy thing, but uh, we'll get them drunk. Just jump in. It'll be like Clippy, but very different. Somebody asked a question, when is this live? So it's live now. Everybody, production and desktop app. So Mac Mac and Windows, no mobile. So you, you can o- start doing it right now. If you open the app and let it sync, it'll prompt you. After it syncs up top, you'll get a green bar. It'll prompt you to update. Once you update, you'll have it. Hey. I've seen a couple of tech questions on both my side and your side on how it works behind the scenes connectivity side. Like, are you, is it peer to peer? Is it? <laughs> Good timing, Ray. Good timing. <laughs> we almost got him. We're going all out in the last interval, just you know. <laughs> all 102% of it. <laughs> this is literally Ray's job to ride trainers <laughs> and talk to the camera as if he's not bothered. So he's pro with yeah. this. <laughs> as I often say, I'm just like a professional athlete, just not fast. <laughs> Those last 15 seconds, huh? So it starts to hit. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) So something to fill with this one. This workout would likely come up pretty early in your progression as like, it's not the hardest VO2 max workout. Um, through your plan and like main goal with these in any interval workout accumulate more time at a specific intensity and these big long breaks make it so that you should be able to repeat them without much issue <laughs> and you probably shouldn't even need like a minute break to talk afterward too you know I'm at 107 <laughs> <laughs> okay how does it work it is a peer-to-peer connection that allows us to scale up very, very high. Um, but it also makes it so that if we go to 10, 12 people in a room, unless you have good internet, it could be an issue. So we are working on another solution that when you get to larger rooms, there'll be no issue. Hope that helps. <laughs> Is that the answer you were looking for, Ray? I think so. It looks like it uh, between cool. the two different questions, consolidating a few things here. Cool. Uh, some people have asked about when will it come to mobile or tablet devices or anything other than a desktop computer. So we are currently rebuilding our mobile app so that we can build really fast. It's the same kind of technology we have in Electron or this desktop app. We use Electron, which allows us to build this incredibly quickly. You'll follow me, you'll see my Instagram. I'm gonna post pictures from all the rides I did. And uh, the UI just like keeps changing and updating because of that. So you'll see that come out first and then we'll work on adding it. There are some inherent problems with getting a phone like pointed towards you just right um, and showing a lot of people. 
but we have some ideas and uh, I think someone said iPad. iPad would work great with this. Same with some uh, Android tablets. So it's definitely on our radar to do. We want to do it. But it's still, you'll see more improvements on this first before that gets done. You'll see a new app come out first. Somebody's asking what webcam we're using. And in my case, I'm just using a MacBook Pro. Um, I think Nate is doing the same. Yep. But you can use external webcams as well. And if you see up on my screen in the upper left, there's the microphone and camera buttons, as well as the gears icon. And that's where you suggest that. So, or yeah, suggest I've got mine set for an external webcam, in my case. Someone asked, Logitech. what's a good internet speed? We've got good luck with people who get really the up speed. Upload, five megabits up, it's pretty good. I had one with someone who was in the boondocks who had half a meg down and half a meg up with five people in the room. And that wasn't enough. So if you're on dial up, it's not gonna work. Um, if you have modern internet, it should work. That's why you have that five limit. So it should work for everybody. Yeah. Also, if you have the uh, you have a computer from like 2008, uh, you might have issues. Yeah. Also leave your laptop plugged in because it does take battery life. So it's more efficiencies that we can improve, but at the moment, plug your laptop in, it should work fine. Someone asked, how do you share a plan, work it on your calendar? Those are exactly the things we're, we're thinking about. Uh, we have a Teams function that we can leverage. There's so many, it's almost, for me, it's a little overwhelming. We're gonna have a meeting and prioritize these things, but the amount of things we can do is insane off of this like base core that we have. Yeah. Like having a shared calendar with a team, having a Leadville team, doing workouts the same plan with people that you've never met before, but you've tried a Leadville. Those are all the things that we're thinking about mm -hmm. that we'd really, really like to do. Another question from Instagram. Can I get my company to stop using Zoom and use this instead? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can talk to a company on the, in the internet or uh, in the industry. And they said that they were going to do their meetings, at least when the writers were in there on this. <laughs> you put like 50% FTP, but then you can burn like that. Yeah, right. for sure. You don't talk as much. Yeah. You get your, you get your point. <laughs> We've solved meeting bloat right here. Yeah. This is it. You have to pedal to talk to. Another you question. You should use yeah. If you're not pedaling, <laughs> meeting mode. <laughs> Or even simply set the meeting as a ramp workout. Right? Just being like a ramp and just like, it's gotta be solved by the end of this test. That's it, just as simple as that. A very quick meeting. Yeah, right. Another person asked, can you mute a rider? Not at the moment, but that is the very next thing we're working on, is to be able to mute riders and kick people. But then we'll also have a report feature in the, in the future. If you're working with your friends, hopefully you don't have to report them for inappropriate behavior. <laughs> or have to he dropped me. But, uh, <laughs> we understand those are, I mean, this is video on the internet. Anything could happen. So we understand those are features we're going to have to build in. I might report Nate if he doesn't, if he turns his intensity down or, yeah. <laughs> or doesn't pause when I ask him to or something. <laughs> This is good. We only have three left. Amber says, uh, kick people out, not kick people. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. <laughs> Kicks will not be delivered through this. So, too, if you guys join the forum, I mean, I, I want to do every workout now with Creator World users. So, uh, post your stuff. I'll post some. And actually, here's a secret. If you're in a workout with a Creator World admin, there's no limit. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> quick, we could, uh, cut Nate's connection. We'll He's cut. going off the scale. <laughs> yeah. we'll, 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 we can do some group testing to see where we can actually fit with people's computers. Right. Oh, here's a question I have for people. Ray wants a button. Can I say this, Ray? Yeah. Cool. So Ray wants a button where he can go live on YouTube. Just a single button. 
Ray has probably more subscribers than all of us combined listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder all of who else gave up after the first five minutes of watching my stream. Sad day. <laughs> um, if you guys would like to stream, let us know. Another thing is to stream to the Trainer Road website, where you can give people links and they could join and chat against you, or even share video with you and root you on without them having to install Trainer Road. Yeah. So, Let us know yeah, if you're into that. I would love to see. I would love to see YouTube and Facebook. It's sort of like an easy button option. So, like if I think about a GoPro or a lot of other consumer devices or consumer apps out there that have live streaming potential in them, it's just basically simple easy buttons of straight to YouTube or Facebook. Uh, and then you don't have to think about it very much. You can still, it doesn't have to go public. You can be a, an unlisted session or a private session or whatever the case may be. And uh, you can just share that link out afterwards to your you know, teams, whatever they may be, or friends. That'd be pretty sweet. People are saying yes to the streaming. Cool. Good. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Raised like my people. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked my webcam, MacBook Pro. Yep. Nice job, guys. Yeah. Two left. Um, with this, <laughs> I think I'm going to go to 105 on the next one, see if I can do it. I know i got to do it too because yeah. <laughs> my screen's being broadcast also. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked about a blurred background. Um, no plans for that right now. That would be far down the list unless a lot of people have a use case for that. Also, Snapchat filters. Let us know if that's a demand thing for you. <laughs> I think that makes you faster. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's absolutely demanded for me. I want to see like a panda bear or anything really. I want, what I want at least five Snapchat filters at the top. One thing that I'd like, I'd like feedback on this. Do you get your own workout summary below? But would you like it to see everybody's workout summary between intervals? <laughs> to see what they did um, in that interval. Instead of just one graph you're saying, right, Nate? Not, like, not the graph, but like the, like, here's your average power from the interval, your average heart rate, your average cadence. Cool, the recap. Yeah, the, the recap interval summary. Interval. Cool. Awesome. People are saying, uh, worry about etiquette uh, with folks that are shirt off, bucket next to you, just in case, spitting, swearing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it makes it a little bit real. I think there's an, an element of that that makes it kind of fun, to be honest. <laughs> just to see who suffer the most. Again, there's, there's some hilarious little snippets in that video I published on, on uh, Nate having some, some rough goes at full of life. <laughs> Not worth it. Tell us. <laughs> it's finished I'm processing about 90 seconds before the, uh, the embargo release, so I just, I just went with it. <laughs> so uh, um, that's a good point. Is like, you know, if you're working with your friends, I think shirtless, if you're a guy, it's like beach wear. I mean, obviously, no nudity is fine. We've been doing that with Trainer Road. But also, there are some really cool base layers yeah. that you can wear that like really help with the sweat. Yeah. The jersey is a little warmer than a base layer. I like the the Rafa sleeveless one. Same. John, uh, what do you like? I like sleeved Rafa Rafa ones. Um, they're great. I also have like a really light vented jersey from Quare. It's like a very vented one. That's great to use too. Right now, Nate and I are wearing the full jerseys just for privacy reasons, right? Um, no, but usually, branding. and branding, of course. Uh, but usually, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Bring them back up. Um, but usually, we'd have uh, we'd have um, base layers on. Usually, so we have, and certainly, it, it also like it pays to be mindful of the others you're riding with, for sure, right? And that, that yeah. honestly kind of hits on another point. Like, you know, all of us probably watching this are socially distanced right now, and this is definitely, I think, having a a pretty big effect psychologically on a lot of us 
and not being able to ride with those people that we usually ride with. And this is the kind of way to kind of like, you know, close that distance in a safe manner um, and still connect with them. And it's been a blast. I've been able to ride with friends that are like, you know, in different parts of the country that I haven't ridden with in years um, because of this as we've been testing this thing out. And that's just awesome. And also along those lines, like Nate mentioned before, but we want to do rides with all of you too, like listening to this. So stay tuned to the forum. Reach out to us individually, whatever it is on Instagram, that sort of stuff. And Nate and I are basically just going to go into like 2,000 TSS a week and we're at your mercy. <laughs> but it'd be really you, fun. Uh, go to the forum because if it's Instagram, it'll be hard to uh, share. Forum. Someone Twitter else asked for Trainer.com slash okay. forum. Wait a second. Were you up in your, how much did you go up to? Okay. I went up to 105. 107. Oh, look at Nate. That was seven. He just had to bump it up a little Talk more, didn't he? It. All right. On the rollers, I'll bump it up to 107. I'm not 108. <laughs> Fine, 107 Dang. it is. Okay, I'm back at 107. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Almost off the rollers. It's almost the moment people are waiting for. That's it. 44 minutes, and it finally happens. Everybody watching my screen, let Nate know what percentage I'm at. Extend my flex, please. Yeah, I can see that was some solid flex there because, yeah. <laughs> And uh, goes to say, don't do this in workouts. <laughs> do the prescribed workout. <laughs> we have an audience. We're being meatheads. Hey, <laughs> there's a button. Might as well use it. <laughs> Someone asked, uh, "What about a?" Whew. One second. Man, I'm at 111. By the way. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just glad you didn't say 112. <laughs> Someone asked, uh, what about an auto find, auto match feature like in video games? So, you got your workout, you join other people. Probably those are one of the many things that we are thinking of building. Again, it's just executed in order. There's too much stuff to build. And getting this out soon so y'all can use it in this form at least. Yeah, I mean, give us feedback, especially on the forum. That really helps. There'll be a launch there that should be up by now and uh, post about it and their questions or comments or bugs and uh, we'll, we'll read it and fix it or try to implement it. That's trainerroad.com slash forum. So. More people want to ride with Amber than us. I can tell. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amber's a pro. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, actually. We did talk about that, having like an Amber thing that pops up. <laughs> she can't be everywhere in every workout at once. <laughs> so when, I saw a question uh, earlier on what happens if people want to just turn off the webcam, uh, which you can oh. totally do. So. Yeah, I'll do it. There we go. I'm now off right now. <laughs> can't see me. <laughs> and now it's on. back. Should have done that the interval. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ray's, um, Ray's power gets conspicuously even and he disappears during the intervals. He's just running a simulator. <laughs> yeah, this would have been the workout to do this. I know, right? Yeah. Only, only one left. I still haven't turned my fan on. Someone asked free trial. Um, there's a forum thread where people will share uh, codes for you, but also if you sign up, you have a 30 day refund period where on the website you click one button under your account for refunds and this goes back to you. Um, so if you want to try it out, you can sign up 29th day, you get a full refund if you don't like it. Yeah. So everybody, we have a minute left. What intensity should Nate ride at? Don't be, don't be completely evil. <clears throat> Someone says 130. Oh gosh. Someone says 111. 111. I did the math in my head on what that would be. Everyone wants you to match mine. <laughs> What's that math? Uh, ooh. 
Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't adjust, then do math. Math first, then adjust. <laughs> Isaac says, live demos are brave as hell. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Nate, how much did you sleep last night? <laughs> well, I was excited. It wasn't nervous, but I woke up at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. It was hot, and I was like, it's time to ride. <laughs> Here we got a 123, a 120, 140, 99. All right, 20 seconds left, Nate. What are you going to do? 120. Oh, geez. Don't, go. don't do this, everyone. This is, a, this is not a good thing. I don't know. 120 might be too high. Probably. Probably, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. 120. Well, you better is. sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh oh, Ray's, Ray's got a technical difficulty. Oh no! I do have a technical difficulty. Oh, there, no. oh no! Okay, now it caught up. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> <Yep. Cool>. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here. Halfway. Come on. It's going like ramp style here. <laughs> Press the button up every one second. <laughs> oh. Oh. Woo. So that's where you can see the opportunity to extend the cool down. I can take that down from 140 now. Yeah, me too. You guys want another uh, 30 minutes? <laughs> oh, that was hard. Uh, so that's cool. So folks that can see that at the bottom there, probably a good point, is that now that we did that final one, the option for both you guys and me extended. So as you're saying earlier, Nate, it's not just you. It's anyone who gets this point in the workout. You can go ahead and extend the workout. Yeah, and if you wanted to do some tempo or something like that, you just extend it. You can manually up your intensity if you want. You can continue that way. And once this finishes, it'll basically keep us in here. And if any one of us is extended, our workout will continue. But for those that haven't, the workout will end, but we'll still be in here until we leave or the host cuts it off. So. No. If I leave, you're still going. Got it, cool. So those people are off, so go. There we go. That was good. That yeah, was good a job, guys. That workout was Osceola, O S C E O L A. Probably, I don't think we mentioned it that instructional text doesn't come up, so folks yeah. probably realized it by now or didn't realize it or noticed it, but worthwhile noting. Maybe you can explain a little bit about why that's the case. Uh, <laughs> I think that the, I think the, the main thing too is it's, huh? <laughs> oh, if you're talking with your friends and you have all that stuff going on too, this is a, at least for now, it's a good way to keep it a little more simplified. So. I just want to make sure everything's really Awesome, before we add it in. <coughs> yep. These are trained professionals. As someone said, how little do you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't mean it. They didn't mean it. They saw us gasping at the end yeah. and they didn't mean it. We thought better. <laughs> So if you're watching this right now and you have friends that you want to do a live workout with, share the YouTube link with them. Show them. And whether it's calling out or just friendly, you actually get to see each other again and train. Ride together. Share it with them. This is going to be fun. Get everybody training together. I, have a, <laughs> I want to say something at the very end of this. So I... I uh, oh, 
trying to remember that, but I found an Easter egg on our our YouTube, Lost Podcast. One was I was saying, I was talking with Chad McNeese. No one even picked up on that. But the other that no one picked up is for my trainer setup, I had a big light shining on me. Directly uh, in front. Yeah. And I, I put that there on purpose, but nobody noticed. Yeah. So it didn't look like right. it was your your Instagram uh, yeah. vanity there, that's all. Yeah. If it looked like your setup right, people would <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> So, Ooh, lots of excited people. It. It's exciting. Somebody says they need a live carb loading feature. Um, <laughs> that's it, right? Get your bottles. Did anyone like beers with Chad last Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific? Oh, that yeah. was pretty fun. People should definitely tune into that on Instagram. I agree. So, I don't want to do it, but I'm afraid, like, be irresponsible. I don't know. I uh, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> speaking, I'll of, speaking of Chad, someone just asked in live stream. Uh, can you ask if they plan to record Coach Chad instead of workout test? Um, so this sort Maybe. of thing, but yes, we have to look at some stuff, make sure we don't violate any patents. But if it's possible to stay within not violating patents, we'd like to do that. Yeah. Another question. I have friends that all have coaches. We all work out together from time to time, and we'd like to use this. Is there a potential way to only subscribe to live workouts and not other parts of Trainer Road? No. Right now, there's only one uh, subscription. Yeah. And if we did do multiple live workouts, it would be in the premium feature for sure, if we did different tiers. Yeah. Lots of exciting people. They're excited people. This is awesome. Somebody asked. Is that, that, uh, oh, that, that foreshadowing there? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We got a lot of I stuff gotta ask. I mean, uh. yeah. <laughs> All right. Somebody says, um, did you plan this feature before? Um, and how much influence did coronavirus have on this? Yeah. So we had this built. You could see, like, ooh, in the fall, John, Kevin, or John, Pete, and I, and like Brandon, we do the same workout at the same time on Strava. But it was not synced, looked horrible, a um, <laughs> little buggy, and it, but it kind of worked. And we're like, yes, this is the experience we want. We're going to build it. We're going to release on both mobile and desktop in the fall. But coronavirus happened. And we said, well, what can we reduce the features and get it out as fast as possible on desktop only? And that's what the team's been working on. And that's what you see here. Yep. Um, down below in this chat, let us know what athletes you would want to do a group workout with or what people or individuals. That'll be fun to comb through that list. Yeah. I have another question. Able. If we didn't build this in right away, but we got the YouTube streaming, and let's say the podcast people did a workout together, some of the like, real popular ones that are in plans, would you want to play that back on YouTube and do the workout with us? I know that's not totally integrated like we wanted to. This would be like a kind of a hacky stopgap. Ray's just kind of rolling his eyes, just like that. <laughs> no, no, I like that. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking actually a little bit. Sorry, I'm thinking ahead. I'm, uh, no, it's an interesting idea. Um, a, an, another company is looking at something similar to that. Uh, they've kind of demoed a little bit here and there where you could skip out workouts in YouTube. So the idea that you could have a YouTube um, video playing and it controls the skipping in the structural workout player itself. Um, yeah, but that, yeah. And I think that, that concept is cool, not only for groups like this, but also people that want to like do longer outside ride type videos or something like that where they just want to have it synced to that and maybe not necessarily have it be uh, something that's super tied together integrated smart trainer wise and stuff. So no, I think that, yeah. that kind of cool stuff would be cool. Okay. I'm gonna ask another question that might get some of you on fire. Uh oh. <laughs> no promises on timeline. The team doesn't even know this, so they're gonna freak out too. <laughs> John knows what I'm gonna say. Unplug his mic. Um, <laughs> do you mind if I say this? I mean I just want to know if they want it or not. Sure, go ahead. Because we can build it. Yeah. Would you want the ability to ride a course with your friends with proper physics? So nothing 3D, just an elevation profile and simulation mode where we control your trainer. So if you wanted to ride a semi off free course, then we can give you credit as your aerobic ride. Uh, 
yeah, just give you credit in your plan if people would like that. Because that could be an alternate to doing like a longer Sunday ride. Let's do ride at four to friends. Yeah. So let us know. <laughs> people, we will definitely have Amber doing live workouts. We are getting a lot of requests for that, for sure. Amber will be in there. Get also, on Amber, right now. Amber, you're listening to this right now. Um, it's up to you to give us deep dives on all things like sports psychology while you're going through your workouts. If not, we'll all be disappointed. So and here's the other thing. We've had the code in the upper right-hand corner, and I was just thinking, I'm like, man, someone's oh, yeah. going to join. I thought of this too. You and be naked. <laughs> Don't say that. There's a minute left. Like, uh, <laughs> you said it about 30 minutes ago. You'd be like, oh, people could just join the code right there as long as they had it. And I'm like, oh, man. This is gonna get entertaining quick. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. Uh, I'm so glad no one's joined. Uh, we don't, at the moment, we can't kick you. Yes, so so, that's just something to be aware of. So please don't <laughs> for these remaining 40 seconds. Ray, what else would you like to cover for the last little bit here? What do you think? No, I think this is cool stuff. I think you know, like I said at the beginning, this isn't. I think people make a lot of comparisons and they'll say, "Oh, it's." It's like Peloton, I think it's different than that, or it's like group workouts in Zwift, I think it's different than that. It's sort of taking each of those pieces and, and pulling them together. And so, you know, by itself, people will be like, oh, that, that makes sense, uh, without necessarily realizing all those pieces that you're pulling together are substantial one put together. By themselves, they're kind of what we've had over the years in different third-party solutions. Uh, so to me, I'm super excited about this. I, like I said earlier, I can't wait to see it where I can be one to many, so one to a thousand, or we can get pro riders on and have a pro rider do their workout one to a thousand and one to a uh, yeah. That's super cool. Absolutely. We did it. Nate's, Nate's uh, Saris H3 flywheel going for the next 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Thanks, Ray. Um, yeah, thanks, thank everybody, guys. for tuning in. This is uh, pretty awesome. You can go and download the app now um, for Mac. If you're a member, you can download the app now. And you can, uh, for Mac and Windows, and if you're not a member, then you can also uh, tune in that way. Or you can go and, and sign up and check it out, share it with your friends. We want to work out with you. It'll be fun. Anything else, Nate? Thanks, everyone. That's it. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone, on, uh, on my channel as well. If you've got and whatever, just definitely go check their, their channel for uh, a clean stream copy. It'll be uh, worth, the, uh, worth the everything. So. Awesome. With that, thanks and have a good one. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.